In this video, I'm gonna talk about the from array operator, from iterable operator, and the from callable operator. These are three operators that I think you're gonna get a lot of use out of, out of with uh, in your Android development, your Android apps. Um, so before I talk too much about them, let's just get right into the examples. So the uh, let's look at the from array operator first of all. So it takes an input of a type, any object type, an array of that object, and emits an observable of that type. So let's go into Android Studio and let's just uh, look, an look at an example. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this code here and then I'm going to paste it into Android Studio and then we're gonna talk about it. So there I've pasted it in, let's take a look at this. So I'm creating an array of task objects. Uh, they all have different descriptions, whether they're complete or not, and they have a different priority. Um, so uh, then we create an observable using the from array operator. So I'm calling from array, passing that list of task objects, then subscribing and observing and uh, subscribing a new observer. So what this will do is it will just emit a bunch of tasks, uh, the tasks that I added up here. So I'm going to run that and we can take a look at the log. It's a, it's a pretty, pretty straightforward thing though. Obviously you're just gonna see the descriptions printing to the log here. So if I scroll down, there is our descriptions. So that's from array. That's uh, pretty simple. Just creates uh, observable, emits observable objects from an array. Now let's take a look at the from iterable one. So uh, it can take a list of objects, an array list, a set, anything that's iterable. It has to be iterable. That's the that's the whole point here. So I'm I'm actually not going to copy this because I already have a a class that will generate a list of objects for me so i'm just copying that and i'm going to paste this in here and i'm going to call data source data oops dat, whoa, data source dot uh, get what is it create task list so that's that uh, data source class that i referenced a few lectures ago if you don't remember what that is it's right here it just creates a, a list of task objects so I'm passing that to the from iterable operator because it's a list and then it will do the exact same thing as the from array operator and just print out the descriptions of those tasks. So I'm not actually even going to run this one because it's pretty straightforward. I think you, you get the idea. Now the next one is the, uh, it's going to be the from callable operator. Whoops. So the from callable operator is going to be great for, uh, anytime you need to do a database transaction, and especially with SQLite and the Room Persistence Library. Because what it lets you do is it lets you return an object or a list of objects by executing a method. Uh, oh, and I forgot to mention too, I just kind of read this. Um, all of these operators uh, will not execute immediately. They will only execute once a subscriber is subscribed. So the from array, from callable, from iterable, all of them are, are the same in that regard. Now let's copy this example and let's paste it and take a look here. So I don't have a database transaction set up in this example, obviously, uh, because I don't have a room room library or SQLite, SQLite. I don't have room set up or the SQLite database or anything, but you can still get the picture by taking a look here. So I'm creating an observable of task type, calling it callable, calling from callable, calling new callable, which will return a task object. So this is what you would do if you wanted to return a single task from your database. So if you wanted to, you know, retrieve a task, or it could be a list of tasks, you know, you could also do a list of task objects. Either way, uh, and you, you have to change this obviously to return a list of task objects uh, and change this to a list of task objects. If this was to return a, a list of tasks. But that's generally it. That's what it would be good for. Be great for doing SQLite database transactions. You can execute those on a background thread, return them to the main thread. Uh, pretty, pretty useful operator. Definitely, uh, I think the from callable operator you will get some use out of. So that's going to be it for this video. And in the next one, let's see what's next. We're going to go to the from future operator.